Welcome to the Duplicolor Garage. My name is Brian, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to achieve a distinctive custom finish on the accessories of your engine that you can both see and feel with VHT's Wrinkle Plus. Now, Wrinkle Plus recreates that wrinkle finish that was popular back in the muscle cars in the 60s and 70s. And we're gonna add that finish to the valve covers here on the engine. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, no problem. So, one of the cool things about this finish, it's heat resistant up to 350 degrees, which makes it perfect for this application. Now, this valve cover has an existing finish on it, and the first thing we have to do is prep it, and I'm gonna start with a Duplicolor paint stripper. All right, the paint stripper did a great job here. You can see these valve covers are all good and clean. I went ahead and scuffed this one down with the red scotch bright pad. And what I'm gonna do now is do the same to this valve cover. You can see some rust here and also the chrome is still bright and shiny. We want this good and scratched up so the paint has something to bite into that mechanical adhesion. Once this is all good and uh, sanded down, I'll hit it again with the prep spray, let it dry, blow it off, and we'll be good to go. Now we recommend three good heavy coats, consistent throughout because the better the coverage is, the better and more consistently it's going to wrinkle throughout as well. So I'm going to start with one very light coat just for that tack coat and then I'm going to follow with three heavy consistent coats. Now this paint does take some time to dry, approximately two hours to dry, to air dry. That will allow the wrinkling to happen. Now to help enhance and speed up the wrinkling and help the consistency of it, besides good heavy coverage or good even coverage I should say, is using a heat gun which we're going to get to as well. So let me uh, shake up this can a little bit more, go lay down the first tack coat followed by three heavy coats. If needed, mask off surrounding areas to protect from overspray. Use at temperatures between 60 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit and when humidity is low. Shake can vigorously for one full minute after mixing ball moves freely. To spray, hold can parallel 8 to 10 inches from the surface to be painted and use in an even sweeping motion for even coverage. Apply at least three heavy coats in a crosshatch pattern. First coat vertically, second coat horizontally, and third coat diagonally, allowing five minutes between each coat. A relatively heavy film thickness is required for the product to wrinkle. This paint dries very slowly. A wrinkle finish does not appear immediately after spraying. Allow two hours to air dry, and if paint fails to wrinkle or wrinkles in an uneven pattern, apply an additional coat of paint in unwrinkled areas. Although paint appears dry, avoid contact with surface for at least 24 hours. Allow 48 hours or more before reassembling parts. All right, so I finished applying three coats of Wrinkle Plus, allowed five minutes in between each coat, and then let these valve covers dry for about 20 minutes. Now you can let these covers dry overnight, and they're gonna wrinkle up, but a little trick that we've learned, or trick of the trade, I should say, is using the heat gun and applying just a little bit of heat evenly throughout. You don't want to get it too close, you're going to end up burning the paint. And this is going to help wrinkle things up a little quicker and just a bit more evenly. And as you can see, the other one looks great. This one's coming along just nicely. All right, so these valve covers are all finished. They're good and dry, the heat gun did their job, and the consistency of the wrinkle just looks amazing. Now we chose to go with black because it'll go well with our gray engine, but we also offer it in blue, red, and gray. And you know, not only using this product under the hood, it's also gonna work well in your vehicle. You can use it on dashboards, glove boxes, consoles, and trim as well. Now regarding baking this product, it's a good thing to bake it uh, just for that added durability, you can bake it in an oven or on a grill, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 
for about an hour. The inherent heat of the engine will bake the paint as well. Now we did this here in the Duplicator garage and you can also do it in your garage as well. To learn more about VHT Wrinkle Plus paints and other VHT products, visit VHTPaint.com.